welcome to another Sunday Fun Day. Um, I am super excited for this one. I usually am, but this is a new to me cider. It's Wicked Cider Company Baked Apple. So I'm not quite sure how they're gonna get the baked apple flavor in there, but let's see. <clears throat> so this is 6.9% alcohol. It's 19.2 fluid ounces, so it's bigger than a pint. That's bizarre. It says, this baby is our one of a kind first flavor, the original rump shaker. <laughs> Flavors of apple pie are delivered to your taste buds in this liquid yumminess. Be prepared for your first cider gasm. Wow, that's that's a lot. Okay. Oop, I'm already spilling it. Party foul, party foul. Well, it just looks like regular cider. But before we taste it, let's sing our song, because I know a lot of you like it. Sunday fun day, better than a Monday. Can only do it one way, and that is the drunk way. And I think that might be happening today. Yeah, yeah, it might be. It's a good Sunday. Cheers. Oh, it smells like baked apple. And cinnamon. Okay, so they could have just made cider and added like cinnamon and nutmeg to make you feel like you're drinking apple pie, but somehow they've broken down the sugars. They're caramelized in a way that it does taste like baked apple. That's amazing, my goodness. Where is this from? I know it's from Kennewick, Washington. So I found this. <coughs> I've got two more ciders to review, so the next two Sundays probably. Um, but I got this from Thorpe, Washington, which is in Eastern Washington. It's my absolute favorite fruit stand. Super small population, cute, cute as a boot town. What is that expression, cute as a boot? Who am I? Anyway, I've actually researched home prices there. It's such a cute town, I love Thorpe. I stop there almost every time I'm headed over the mountains. But yeah, they had like a ton of cool ciders and the, uh, the cashier that was helping me check out said that he'd never seen this in like a tall boy version. So that was interesting, but apparently it's really popular out there. I have never seen it in Western Washington. So good. Kennewick, huh? Never would have known. So Washington is super famous for its delicious wines. We have a lot of wines that are grown in Eastern Washington. Um, and we have great wineries in Western Washington that, that um, ferment those grapes. But then I guess we have awesome cider too and, and beer. We have beer. I see hops farms all over Eastern Washington. So, I mean, we have it all really. Um, and pot is legal. So we grow marijuana too. All the things, all the fun things. Wow. So yeah, of course, it's an apple cider, so it's gluten-free. They made sure to label that. Um, yeah, so this tall boy was $5.49. Just taking the sticker off. So this is the cheapest of the three ciders I bought. Yeah, I got really crazy with the ciders. Uh, $5.49, wow. Well worth it. Well, well worth it. Mmm. Mmm. I must love cinnamon. It reminds me a lot of, um, like pumpkin spice things. It tastes like fall. Like, want to get all my Halloween decorations out. Very awesome. All right. Well, I highly recommend this. I would definitely buy this again. If you have it near you, definitely buy it. That's it. I hope you have a wonderful Sunday. I am Katie Prettyman, the world's okayest competitive eater, and this was the Wicked Cider Company Baked Apple Review. Bye.